What's the crack, lads? It's Thursday, and we are back. We're going to be showing you everything new with V3.3, and we're also going to be taking a look at the new cards, including some new legends that are going to be absolutely insane. Let's get straight into it. So we're going to do a quick roundup, as we usually do. We'll keep it short and sweet. You've got your events, right? So these are still ongoing. You've got your first qualifiers. You've got your team play fun. You've also got an Asian Cup and an Unlimited back again with the Mexican clubs. All of these, you're going to have your Asian Cup here with the skill trainers. You're going to have your Unlimited here as well with the skill trainers and the coins. And of course, you're going to have these this Mexican club team event as well. Versus AI, you've got your Asian Cup one there offline. You've got your Mexican club, which is going to give you your free player of the week spin. It's rinse and repeat, boys. It's the same story every week. You've got these as rewards. There's a lot to play here if you haven't played a lot of the events. But that's pretty much it for there. It's usually the same story every week. EFootball League has still got a couple of days and then another week until it's refreshed. And then on to the actual other stuff that they talk about today. So there's a couple of freebies here where they give you a couple of free players. They give you a couple of free spins. You get another worldwide club spin. And then, of course, you get all of these as well just for logging in for the last few days. If you haven't logged in in a few days, you will get two of those instead of one or one of those instead of two if you've logged in every day. So uh, not to confuse it. Also, on top of that as well, as the news that they talk about, right? The big one that they're going to be talking about now is the new update here, which they say that it's got a feature addition and changes. Contents of packs will be reflected directly immediately after purchase. Just small little quality of life stuff, visual stuff. Uh, added various data to the Korean League, and the following data has been updated. Team data, photos, graphics, manager, boots, everything, all that sort of stuff. Talk about new season data updates to the Argentinian League, uh, the Colombian League, the Japanese Leagues as well. And then our favorite, global improvements. A variety of minor adjustments have been made to each mode and to matches with the aim of improving the overall gaming experience. General fixes apply to mitigate or eliminate the bugs shown below. Goalkeeper in daily game. Reaching the final space to daily game, the animation of the ball entering the goal will not be displayed. So these are not gameplay type specific stuff. These are basically um, kind of quality of life visual stuff, right? They also talk about an issue here with the appearance of certain players. It's not a big deal. Um, and to be honest, that's it, man. We don't get any patch notes. We don't get anything like that at all. We're going to have to test it out later on in the stream and see what it looks like and see if it has slightly changed. If the defending is still very, very powerful. All the packs are gone, as you can see there. I think they will that they will re-roll packs. I think that there'll be more club packs coming in uh, the next season update or the next big update that you, that they do. Um, so I will be saying in the next couple of weeks. The special player list then, just to go through that really quick, we've got Liga BBVA, another 100 box in here. You've got a couple of boosters. Some good players in here as well. Um, you know, we'll get to them. We'll do a review of them. These two boys are on a form and the rest of the players are just a team to pack here. It's an okay pack. We'll have a look at that in a little bit and see if there's anyone worthwhile in there. Player of the week, when I first saw this pop up on my screen this morning before we started recording this, I was slightly disappointed. So we'll have to have a look and see if this player of the week is any good this week. Um, Ferran Torres looks pretty decent, but is he any, any, any better than any of the players that you might already have? Now, I do like the fact that he's got a new booster, Striker's Instinct, which is awareness, ball control, finishing, and acceleration, which is... Which is where, listen, this is where the top tier legends should be, should be getting. This is where they should be getting uh, their, their big stats. You know what I mean? Gabriel is really, really solid as well. Defensive awareness, tackling, stamina, and speed. He's going to be an absolute demon. Obviously, his speed is 76. You can get more than that if you train him up. We'll have a look at the rest of these players, but that is an overview of them all. And then, of course, we also do have this ongoing and all of these packs ongoing as well. Um, the MVPs, there's six days left in that MVP one there. But we will be taking a look on eFootball DB, boys, and having a look at a lot of stuff that is going to potentially be coming. Because finally... They have done what we wanted. Well, what I wanted and a lot of people have been asking for is brand new cards altogether, right? So we're going to head on over here to eFootball DB. And as you can see, we've got our player of the weeks up here. So these are here on the 25th of January, as usual. You also have this new collaboration campaign, okay? So you can see these players here. This is a collaboration campaign that they're doing with one and two star players. Um, this is something, obviously, that they're probably just testing out and tying in to see how action attackers on the 29th, which is next Monday. So everyone knows by now that the, the release schedule is player of the weeks on the Thursday, 
and then the legends are the epic boosters on the Monday. So usually when we know what's coming from this pack, which is Italian League selection attackers, it usually means that we're going to be getting Italian uh, legends. Now look at all the legends that they've added. These are all brand new cards to the database with new assets. You've got Cannavaro, you've got Makalele, you've got Roy Card, you've got Baggio. Roberto Baggio is in the game with this card here, which looks insane. You've got a brand new Romario, you've got a new Roberto Carlos, you've got a new Stevie G. Scolzi, brand new Neymar card, Cafu, Cardoba, Belletti, uh, Danielson, Port Mertesecker, you've got a lot of new cards here. Now also on top of that, we do have a look at what our next big time pack is going to be to tie in with the next um, eFootball Championship Open type thing, right? So we did have Barcelona, we did have Bar Bayern Munich with Musiala and Davies, and now we look to be getting uh ac milan because they've got the signature cards such as Giroud there but there's also a lot more cards in the database there as well that have weird ratings and they're probably because they're not updated yet that they're just placeholders yet um including some of the cards here that they have no assets there at all so let's take a look at some of the new cards you've got Cannavaro. i'll do a full blow off video of these with all the new legends and talk about them but just to give a little look over them Cannavaro is a CB. Obviously, his player levels um, are still due to change until he's actually released. You've got the same with Makalele. This is going to be a big time booster uh, Makalele legend card. You can see him there in the French kit. You've also got Rijkaard from the 88 89 season. You've got Romario from 1994. This guy's going to be demonic, I think, lads. Even at 27 levels, man, this guy is going to be a beast. Unless, listen, the gameplay is going to be very, very important as to how they balance the gameplay um, with these cards. That's kind of, that's probably going to be the biggest thing, because if you take a look at Romario's card here, it's not really at the level with 27 levels. It's not at the level that you would potentially see him at when the, when the game launches, because you do have your balance and acceleration, ball control all in the 88s, which will get the manager plus two boost without the booster, um, but the rest of his stats leave a little bit to be desired especially for a Mario card. Roberto Carlos, you've got Neymar Jr. in for a brand new card. This Neymar Jr. looks beastly as well. He's probably going to be very silky, very smooth. And all of these cards, Leao, you've got Tamori, you've got Calabria, you've got Giroud. And of course, you have Roberto Baggio from the 92-93 season. So it is going to be interesting, lads. I definitely think that uh, a lot of these cards, especially the likes of Makalele, Roy card, or Mario, any of these cards, I think that they're they're really going to make these like the ultimate versions of the cards with really good boosters and a really good way of actually getting them into your squad. So um, let me know what you guys think, lads. Honestly, let me know what you guys think. Um, and we will be back very, 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 very soon uh, with all of this so sort of stuff. Um, we will be streaming later on as well today. So make sure you check out the stream. We'll go through everything that we possibly can. Um, you also have the daily game ongoing as well. But yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. And don't forget to like and subscribe as we slot that one home. All right, lads. Catch you later.